This video is all about linear momentum. Now there are two types of momentum. Uh, we have linear momentum, which is to do with objects that are moving along uh, perhaps in a straight line. So perhaps this car here is moving from A to B, then we can think about its linear momentum. There's also a type of momen momentum called angular momentum. Now angular momentum is to do with objects that are actually spinning round, uh, and it's why they kind of keep wanting to spin. But we're not going to look at that in this video. So linear momentum, this is the product of mass multiplied by velocity. And uh, if we think about uh, the symbols that we use for that, where we use little m for mass, and we're going to use v for velocity. And this gives us the symbol for linear momentum, which is p. Why is it p? Why is it not big M or something like that or L? Well, these symbols are used up in other things. And the p here comes from uh, the word impetus. Now, in terms of the units, well, we always, always measure mass in kilograms, and we measure the velocity of an object in meters per second. And therefore, this means that the units for uh, impetus or linear momentum are kilogram meter per second. Okay, so if we think about that, if we think about uh, one kilogram or a mass of one kilogram moving at one meter per second, then that would have a, a linear momentum of one kilogram meter per second. So how do you work out the momentum of an object? Well, perhaps we have a Ferrari which is moving along at uh, maybe 325 kilometers per hour, kind of maximum speed. Now for something like this, it might have a mass of about 1,485 kilograms. And this velocity, well, first we've got to convert it into SI units. 325 kilometers per hour, where we multiply it by 1,000 to get it into meters per hour, and then divide by 3,600, which is approximately equal to 90 meters per second. So in order to calculate the momentum of this, uh, we can say that P is equal to mv. Remember, small p, small m, and small v. Uh, it's equal to 1485 multiplied by 90. Uh, and if you put that number into your calculator, its momentum is going to be 133,650 uh, kilograms meters per second. Now, although this, this is the raw data, um, it's probably more appropriate to give it to three significant figures in line with uh, the raw data we had in the question. But if I write it as 134,000, uh, it's maybe a bit unclear to, to think is that uh, significant or not, these theories. So I'm going to give my final answer in standard form as 1.34 times 10 to the 5 kilogram meters per second. So that's the kind of momentum that a heavy object has when it's moving quickly.